Secret Agent Splat by Rob Scutton. Splat's dad makes toy ducks. All colors, all sizes. He makes lots of ducks. The ducks are kept in the garden shed and Splat has names for each and every one. John, Paul, Ringo, George. One day, Splat was shocked to see that the red duck was missing. Who messed with my ducks? asked the Splat. Seymour shrugged. The next day, the blue duck was missing and the red duck was back, but without a beak. Who messed with my ducks? asked Splat. Seymour shrugged. The day after that, the green duck was missing and the blue duck was back, again without a beak. It was time to investigate. Who messed with my ducks? asked Splat. Not me, said his mom. Not me, said little sis. Not me, said his brother. It seems that no one has messed with my ducks. Not anyone. Not anybody. Nobody, said Splat. I must find this Mr. Nobody. Splat watched his favorite TV show and made his plans. If my plan is going to work, said Splat, I must be clever, cunning, and quick. I will find Mr. Nobody and solve the mystery of the missing ducks. This is a job for Secret Agent Splat. The transformation is complete. Seymour, code named S, gave him a spy kit, a camera, some baking flour, a flashlight, a book of paw prints, and a top secret gizmo. Secret Agent Splat put his plan into action. He set his traps and waited. It was quiet, too quiet. Suddenly, there was a flash of light. Secret Agent Splat raced to the scene. His trap had been sprung. The, gram the camera had taken a photo. Splat looked closely at the photo. Aha, ears, exclaimed Splat. Hmm, very familiar ears. Spa looked at the flower he had sprinkled on the floor. Aha, paw prints, exclaimed the Splat. Hmm, very familiar paw prints. Splat followed the paw prints from his shed along a track to another shed. This star nobody's hideout, whispered Splat. Splat tiptoed up to the door and pulled out his top secret gizmo. He pressed the latch, flung the door open, and leaped inside. Gotcha! Splat cried. Bright yellow eyes stared from the shadows. So, secret ancient Splat, you found me, replied a mysterious voice. Aha! Mysterious voice! thought Splat. Hmm, a very familiar mysterious voice. Splat shone his flashlight. He gasped. It was Spike. Spike, so you're Mr. Nobody. Spike turned to run. Splat released, pressed a button and released his top secret gizmo. Boing! Went the gizmo and Spike fell to the floor. Splat sat on him. Why, Spike? Splat asked, Why did you mess with my ducks? At that moment, a mouse ran by carrying another duck. That's strange, said Splat. Oh, Spike said, not another one. The mouse ran into a small hole. With a thunk, the duck's beak was knocked off as it struck the wall. Splat looked into the hole. The mouse was having a cup of tea with the duck. I asked the mouse not to take the ducks, but he didn't listen, said Spike. And since I don't want to get him in trouble, I've been returning the ducks. Now I see, said Splat. But why did mouse take my ducks? Splat thought a while. Hmm, maybe it's not really a duck that he wants, said Splat. Splat whispered to Seymour. 
Seymour nodded. Maybe it's a friend. The case of the missing ducks was solved. D and If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you soon.